welcome to the Shelly Studio and I am participating in a video hop. This one is called Hashtag Refreshing Summertime Art and um, it is a tutorial and I was thinking about summertime art and it makes me think of water and sailing and stuff which I'm not by an ocean or anything so I don't get it much but <laughs> that's what I'm inspired about when I think of summer. I love the water and so I am gonna just do a watercolor of a sailboat and um, right now I'm just sketching it out so I do have it sped up here so that um, you don't have to watch for too long I used a China marker just in a couple of places to um, create some white areas to save me some white areas and now I'm gonna do like wet into wet sort of just want to get the water and the background so I spray the back of my watercolor paper and then spray the front I don't think I caught it quite wet enough but um, that helps it to stay flat without buckling too much um, I don't think I got enough water on the back because it does start to buckle on me a little bit but um, yeah so I'm just getting the water on there and I'm just using a flat brush and um, see there I'm adding more water because there's some dry spots <laughs> and really just gonna do some couple of shades of blue I'm sorry I don't know the names of the colors I've got something on there take that off there we go um, there are two um, people think differently like some like if you've got hair or you know a brush piece of your paintbrush on the paper let it dry and then you can just blow it off and then some people try to get it off right away well I tried the first one not on this one but to leave it but then when I go to brush it off it's left a line so now I try to get it off if possible and for some reason I've got like debris on my paper I think I had a paintbrush that got left in the water and it, little chips of paint are coming off of the paintbrush not the one I'm using at the moment because that's plastic which I need all my paintbrushes to be plastic <laughs> but so you can see where I put the China marker to create a resist where um, the cells are gonna sort of be and now I'm just um, giving it I was trying to straighten out my lines I'm not very good at a straight horizon so I'll fix that later we will turn it into distant land masses <laughs> that's my way of fixing that problem but I just keep adding color there's a little bit more purple in the sky less in the water just to m make it a little bit different it ends up looking really misty there's me trying to straighten my horizon a little bit you could always draw a line there and uh, do it that way now this um, paintbrush I'm using here and I'm using the same colors that I used in the water um, is a Princeton number no. 8 round and um, a liner brush probably would give you a better line but I'm not very steady so I don't know that it would have mattered for me. Um, I think I would have been wobbly anyway. <laughs> Just need to practice that long stroke. There we go. So this technique right here would be called glazing, kind of, where you're doing watercolor over watercolor and I just keep adding to get some shading and I, I put my pencil marks so light they're they're fairly hard to see but it, it really is just a real simple watercolor um, I do have some blooming on my waters, but on the 
water part. And that's from having too much water on my brush. But I just roll with it, just use what I've got. And this is just a sailboat out of my head. Just a real basic shape. Here, I was thinking I was trying to put a person in my boat, but it looks a little weird. <laughs> and I even try to give them arms, but I'm like, the head's got issues, so I try to make it bigger. Then it ends up just being something in the boat. We'll just smush it out and just pretend like it's stuff. I think what really helps um, give your watercolor some life is the depth, like the lights and the dark. So you want both to really make it interesting, to really um, keep it from being flat. So I do, I do put more color in several times. Try and get that, and then we're just. Blending it out. Yes, I'm using my hand to blot the water off my brush because I didn't want to take the time to find my paper towels. I know it's pathetic. <laughs> anyway, while we're doing this, watching me do this, um, this is a video hop, so there will be links in the description box below to the other participants. Um, so you can go there and click the links and see the next video. You can also type in the hashtag in the search bar, um, hashtag refreshing summer art, and you'll find them that way. So I'm trying to make my water look like water, so I'm just kind of dragging the brush across. You want to leave light and have dark so that you get the kind of reflections going. Still again, trying to even out my horizon. And now I am adding, this is actually Payne's Gray. I felt like it was still too flat. It needed some more dark. It needed to be darker. So putting the Payne's Gray in there, giving the sailboat some shadow sitting it in the water so it doesn't look like it's floating on top. I just like the um, contrast there. I just think it helps quite a bit. Yeah, I found my paper towel. <laughs> Like I said, just trying to make that boat look like it's sitting in the water. So here again, 
trying to go straight, fix my horizon. I've added just a touch of purple to that. And we're just going to turn those uneven areas into distant land masses. And it still has kind of a rounded look. Um, so maybe they're in a gulf or a cove. <laughs> Where some of the land is closer to them than others, right? That works. Okay, so this is a Uniball Signo gel pen. I just wanted to put some highlights. Um, again, to give it a little bit more dimension. You can't really draw over the... Um, China marker because it's waxy, but you can draw over the watercolor once it's dry. Make sure it's dry or it won't work. And then um, decided to add some darks. So I'm just using a Micron Pigma pen. And, uh, I don't know what size tip, but it was pretty fine. Just to darken a little bit more, crisp up some edges that I felt might have been a little fuzzy or a little wobbly. Just defining some edges, basically. Once I had the pen out, I probably could have drawn a figure in there, but I'm better at inanimate objects and nature. <laughs> but don't forget to check the description box and click on the links of the other videos so you can see what everybody thinks is refreshing summer art. I hope you liked my video. If you did like it, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more from me, Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.